well good morning everybody welcome back to Bally Spring I have done a few little bits just to sort of smarten the yard up off camera so I've done a little bit more concrete in texture um, scuffed it up a little bit with some animal mud and dirt effects I'll show you up in landscaping mode in a second and also I've added in a bit of decoration so these barrels bags of cement I think I added that barrel I think that's it but I probably will add the odd bit here and there as we go just to sort of make it look a bit more lived in and a used yard if that makes sense put all the machinery and equipment away I don't know if it will stay in those sheds they're in at the moment I would like to try and keep our sort of main machinery in that shed because that's a really nice big shed and also, it was suggested to me, and I've been meaning to do this. I've mentioned it a couple of times in some of the episodes, but I just haven't done it. I don't know why. But I did actually disconnect that from the telehandler, and all seems to be fine. So it obviously doesn't like that. So it's not a problem, though. We'll just disconnect what we're not using. That's absolutely fine. Otherwise, we'll have a dancing telehandler again. Right, I'll show you up in landscape mode. I've also had some good suggestions and people sort of saying, yes, go for it with the sort of buy silo on the farm. Because I mentioned about buying pig food in. I don't really want to go down the route of producing. I have found... A mod that I've never used and we're going to give that a go so yeah that's what the yards looking like so this was all done in the concrete texture and then all these brown patches I've added in sort of just uh, and I went across on the angle like that but at the moment like I said before that could come out further depending on how bigger we sort of get but at the moment what we've got is suffice now, I really want to get to this grass mode, but I think we'll probably wait until spring, which is obviously next month, because we're in February 2nd. We do have snow on the way. That's going to last for a few hours. We'll check the weather in a second. But I'm kind of thinking this is quite a big area now, and I would like to keep this probably all is grass or most of it is grass again depending on how much the yard comes out so it's going to be quite a big grass field and I'm also still considering buying this fella and I'm thinking of having this and that area we just looked at as our two sort of big grass fields and we can mix it up between silage hay grass whatever we're needing I'm hoping that might be enough then we could turn 42 into a, an arable field Obviously we bought this field, that's ready to harvest, but again, I'm not going to do that this episode. And then these three will keep arable as well. So this field here is ready to go. So I think we will put some more sorghum in there, and we'll do that this episode. Uh, let's just quickly check that weather, just to make sure. Yeah, so 11am, it's going to snow for a few hours. But then it looks nice and sunny, but I don't know how much light we will have because we're still in winter. It could start getting a bit dark a bit early. So we're on times two. So we'll monitor situation. If need be, we will sort of have a very long tea break, <laughs> so to speak. Now, I am going to add a couple of things to the yard then because we do need them so first of all i did get rid of it i think it was in containers we're going to use the bally spring one and that's going to be this fuel tank um should we do the snapping mode is that going into the shed or is that yeah it's going in so we'll keep that away we'll go about there bang can get some fuel from there i think the tractor does need some and if we stay in containers now i was going to buy i was in two me two means two minds of going for this guy but again that's something i've used on the carpathian countryside awesome mod from game enjoy highly recommend it 
or I was going to go for the multi fruit buying station. Now, I think Game Enjoys one it is cheaper for buying things from this one. But this is cheaper to buy. So I think we will go for this because I don't want to buy anything too cheap. And we're going to place that down. Uh, where is a good question? I probably will think this area. We'll just have to make sure we don't clog this sort of yard up a bit too much here. So we'll get that in position it doesn't really matter about that door because that door doesn't actually open um i don't think it's completely square to the building oh that's a bit better isn't it we'll go i have to go toggle free would do that now in terms of the pig food this is the guy i've downloaded I thought I'd give it a try again. It's only two and a half grand to put down, and it is the pig feed buying station mod. Never used it, but it looks pretty cool. We've got a little picture of a piggy on there. I'm thinking maybe over here next to the pigsty. Um, again, that's not a very good angle, is it? Um, we'll go there, I think. Oosh. Um, I don't like that it's done that to our texture after all that time and effort I've done with the painting it is overwritten it so we'll put that back hopefully not disturbing too much of the dirt come on please that'll do I'll have to put a bit of dirt back down there I think um where is the dirt? We'll put dirt there. There we go. That would do something like that. A couple in there. That looks a bit odd. There we go. So we do now have a couple of buy stations. Now, I know that thing does sell pig food, but I wanted to give this a go, and it's quite fitting that that is just specific for pig food. So awesome that sat done and that sat done oh one more thing that i want to add because the machinery is getting absolutely filthy so i'm going to put in a pressure washer jet wash um could go for that one i think we will go for that one where is the hose i think it's that size isn't it side side um we'll go dosh like that that will give us enough room there so we've got enough room to get to everything fuel these buy points and the jet wash happy with that awesome right let's not hang about let's jump into the massy um oh i do want your suggestions i know most of the time people say just do it how you want to do it snowy I do like getting your feedback. There's still a good way to interact with you guys. Um, we'll give this a little blast off, shall we? In terms of the mower setup, so our mower's over there, starting to think a little bit too small, really, for those two grass fields that I've mentioned. Someone did suggest that we buy the Big M mower now i'm up for that because we have the money for it it's going to take a massive chunk out of us it's 380 grand but i don't think i've really used it on fs22 because i've never really been able to afford it in any of my series but we have the money now my only fear is if we get too low down with the money we'll just fill up the fuel as well so we're using two of our new things there we go that's filling up it's obviously going to charge us but that's fine we would expect that um yeah it's going to wipe us out buying the big m and i don't think it's too big really for this map because we'll have a quick look i know most of you guys know it but once it's folded up like that it is pretty slim and narrow it will fit down the roads nicely and it will go through the gates nicely 
and it also does turn really really well so that is an option i mean even if we leased it it's 19 grand so maybe we could just go down that route but 380,000 because the only other thing i was looking at and obviously that does swath dropping i was looking at this mower setup i mean we could go for because we've got this guy and the side mower could swap the side mower out for this but it's not really giving us a great more extra width um, these guys but I've been using them on the Carpathian countryside so again a little bit just want to try things a little bit different these guys are out of the question with horsepower and also at the end I've got these and they are also too much on the old horsepower so definite no there right let's grab our cedar anyway that's enough jabbering on and like I say we'll put sorghum back in that field I probably should have connected to this first before we did the um, jet washing right I think we'll just leave the seed for a moment we won't fill up we'll go like that so this will seed and fertilize it is a direct drill as well so we'll probably go straight across so we can always fill that little bit in at the end so off we go six meter wide which i don't think is too bad for the map i might think different when we have to replant our grass but we'll see because that big grass area over the other side which we've got rid of all the hedges and things like that i think some of them need plowing some need liming don't they so it literally once we've mowed all that grass and done what we want to do with it i think we'll just do silage bales off of that i'm going to completely start from scratch with it so we'll be plowing it all up and get rid of those bushes that are down there and then we can sort of you know go from stage one basically plant the grass down fertilizer etc well if we're using this guy this will do that for us in one hit let's just back up into that corner to grab that bit there we go i think i'll go straight up again and then i'll come back and fill in the little blanks as we go but it is quite a nice morning so that's what i want to try and crack on with things i know we probably could harvest that field we'll probably do the grass cutting but it is still winter so we'll try and shy away from that for a moment right, let's see if we can do a little bit around this tree there we go I'm actually going to lift that up because it won't use the seed but it will still continue using fertilizer even though we've done that bit I think we'll go around again hopefully that will allow us a bit more room and we'll just go up and down I think then
Right, just this little section to do. Double check on the map, make sure we've got everywhere because I did miss a couple of little bits, had to go back round over them. This obviously will need rolling then. Um, I think that's going to be in its mulching configuration though. Oh, that's another thing we need to place down. A toolbox again. That's not a problem. We'll do that in a moment. I could probably roll this field off camera to be fair, but I might get a little bit of it done. So I'm actually quite looking forward to doing the big grass cutting job that's coming up. So please let me know your thoughts on the two mower options or shall we just keep what we've got? Obviously the other two, the big M and those Pottinger ones they're going to allow us to swath drop but we don't always need to swath drop we can go widespread if we're doing hay and then get a tether and still get a windrower then so it's not like we'll always be swath dropping right so that looks pretty good exactly the same color because it's sorghum and obviously we know it needs rolling we now have a very dirty cedar. Might give that a quick blast off of our new jet wash while we're here. So things are starting to happen on the farm. I'm really enjoying this series and I'm really pleased with how the yard is looking. I had some great comments from you guys as well. I did worry that it was a little bit too open and some of you might think oh it's not as tight as the original one but I don't think it's too bad it gives us a little bit of room and we can always add to it and expand to it makes some of the areas a little bit more snugger and tight up not a problem right can we back that straight in there that's good isn't it that won't be used for a while now not until we've done the grass field i think the canola's not far off though i'm looking forward to harvesting that because we should get our straw off of that i wasn't expecting straw from the sorghum so that was a pretty good surprise i think it would be okay for straw on this map definitely um, right, that is the mulcher, so let's go over here and the toolbox there. Now, could we squeeze it in? Put it going under there? Well, look at that, that would be good, wouldn't it? We'll put it under there. Um, bang! There we go, and then we can drive round there. Um, hopefully pick that up should be able to click on that we'll repair the massy woe here the weight's okay and repair that also customize it I'll put it into a field roller which doesn't cost us anything I'll chuck that back down there hook back up and we're good to go We'll get this rolled and then I think why don't we because we've got our pig food by point let's get some little piglets I think about time we got some more animals it seems like quite a long time ago we got our last lot I think it was the lambs the last animals we bought so quite some time ago Ooh, there's a post there that's fine <laughs> can't see how wide this is with the dust flicking up 
but this shouldn't take too long 15 miles an hour a very cool mod again this one highly recommend this just make sure we're getting all of that as we go try not to hit the trees and we probably will have to oh yeah almost got it look i don't think we're going to get around there are we so let's just scrape the wall a little bit that will be absolutely fine don't worry about that <laughs> let's just back up there we go we've got that bit i think we'll go straight up there again and come back for that little bit seems to be the norm for this field doesn't it right i'll finish off this and then like i say i think we'll grab some little piglets well that's another job done on the farm let's just turn that off to give that a little wash as well so that's all nicely spruced up right let's grab our piggies now we're probably just going to keep buying them from the actual dialogue box instead of getting a trailer um right i think if we were going to go piglets because i've said all the animals bar the cows we're going to get from or as babies should i say let them grow up hopefully start reproducing the reason with the cows if you didn't here my explanation for it is because if we get calves it is going to take forever i don't even think we'll finish the series before we get any milk and reproducing from them so we'll go for adult ones first but the piglets this does hold 500 let's grab some females 60 is the max we can buy at the moment that's only 1500 so we're only getting charged 300 for a delivery fee and then we will go for 60 male piglets so they can all have a little party in there <laughs> together um do we need any more than that i don't know not for now look at them hello little fellas <laughs> oh man they are so cute look at them they remind me of a game me and my brother had when we were kids it was called i think it was called past the pigs and i think it was two or was it four tiny little pigs like little sort of models i can't even remember what you had to do you had to throw them like dice and depending on how they sort of fell on the floor with either their legs upright or on their side I can't remember exactly how you scored, but it was about scoring points. But there you go. Random story about my childhood. <laughs> Hopefully someone else remembers that game. I'm sure it was past the pigs. Could be wrong. Right, let's grab this trailer. Now I'm a little bit worried about this trailer underneath there. That is very low right i don't know how much this is gonna cost us oh that's instant isn't it because that's the only thing it does sell that's pretty rapid 8090 that that sounds quite cheap do we have i don't think you get pig feed in here as a menu thing do you no that seems very cheap to me. That's good though. I don't care. <laughs> Although I did say earlier I don't want things too cheap. But um, I wanted to try that mod out. I notice it's got five stars on the old mod hub. So right. This is going to be a disaster isn't it. Let's try and... keep doing this i think 
I think we're going to need to get a new trailer, guys. As much as I wanted to try and stick with the old Massey Ferguson equipment. We're going to need a push one, I think. Whoa, otherwise that's going to happen. <laughs> we can't have the tractor doing wheelies. Right, what has that done for their feed? It's not even touched the sides. Hmm. Okay, right. Um, let's have a quick look. I know I've got... That's a bit too big. As a smaller flegal I have, I think. Um, is it that one? Or is it that one? See, that one will hold more. But it seems a little bit smaller to me. That is definitely a push one, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be. Should we buy that? Hmm. Well, there's that one, actually. That's a bit more smaller. I'm hoping the height will be okay for it. Um, that holds 26,000. That holds 38 and a half. I don't think I've got any more push ones I think these guys tip but again I've been using those on Carpathian I don't really want to that's quite a big trailer right um, so it's either that one which is pretty cool or that one which is more expensive but it holds more Um, that could be good for us on the road. I'll tell you what, let's just, let's buy that. Oh, I'll tell you what we should have done is checked the old... Mm, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let's just check. Um, this... I definitely want to buy that. This is by the same people that done this map. That's why I downloaded it and selected it for this series. Because I thought that would be very fitting, wasn't it? By I Agri. I think it was... Was it 4D, 4D Modern as well? I think done this mod. So we're going to need that for the cows. Look at that. That's 45% off. Now I know it's probably going to need repainting repairing things like that we probably will do that let's buy that um tires they look a bit don't like them they're too thin they're a bit floaty floaty they're not too bad um i think i quite like those they're not going to cost us anything they will do uh, design add feed shoot i've never used this mod so i don't know the features of it does that mean that shoot folds out because i presume it still comes out that side it obviously only comes out one side we'll add the feed shoot i think oh and add bell handler Okay, that's stumped me a little bit. All options. Let's go all options. Registration plate. Uh, well, we don't need to do that, actually, because we are in Ireland, so that is fine. We've always got an Irish plate on there. Right, let's buy that. Bargain. Bargain, bargain. Right, I will go up and grab the trailer. The other thing, Majiggy. We'll have to sort out. I'll tell you what. I'll keep you in. Let's let's go and sell this, 
and then we'll quickly repair and repaint that feed mixer to see how much that costs us and then I'll see you back down at the farm once we've done all that and we'll finish off feeding the pigs they're going to need straw as well aren't they so we've got plenty of that but we are always going to require plenty of straw because we're going to be getting cows obviously pigs let's go whoa that whoa that threw me off what's going on there looking out that way thought we'd go in cab it's a little bit easier i think right now i'm not quite sure how much we'll get for this i can't remember how much we paid for it probably not a lot but oh here we go oh it's starting to snow as well that's fine we've done our field work that's good happy with that we will just feed the piggies i think we will call it there for that episode all right let's turn into here and the workshop triggers around the back so we'll just oh there's a collectible we'll grab that yay because we, we need the money don't we there's probably a few more around here um where is the trigger for this somewhere there it is <laughs> found it in the end right we'll repair and repaint 14,760 that's not too bad we'll get rid of that um well not we won't do that we've got workshop trigger on the farm that's fine we can do that there we'll quickly grab this and we'll repair and repaint that i know we could probably do it down at our farm as well or we can do it but we might as well do it now let's just see how much that's going to cost us um, where is it so not too bad see it works out we will save money on that and it's only done 6.8 hours and it's only 10 months old so that's pretty good I'm happy with that we'll park that up there um, no we won't because that's right across their workshop door they will not like that we will leave that there oh that made a funny noise didn't it oh now does this look a little bit high i hope not let's go and find out okay right i don't think it looks too big oh it's quite tight <laughs> hmm we will see let's find out I like the fact that this really unloads very quick look at that 12,000 for that I don't know how much the little piglets are gonna eat but um hopefully not a lot well that is very heavy though that trailer the brakes seem like they didn't even work then right let's zoom in oh my goodness oh that's actually gone through and under let's get inside i can't get any better than that so come on we'll look from there so there we go that's not even tipping up that's just pushing that off which is what we need awesome happy with that and if we go down i probably will fill this um feed trough up but for now i think we will grab the telehandler we will chuck some straw in there now i am hoping that this manure pit works because when i was kind of setting up the series and testing things I had a little bit of trouble with that one and also the one that was over there that we removed so I'm hoping it's all going to be fine right let's hook up to its nemesis there we go and we'll grab 
three bells we could go this way actually couldn't we not a problem um, now I need to remember where the triggers are for this somewhere along the front it should be there we go we'll grab We'll grab, um, actually, does this, I think it's three, isn't it? We'll grab three. Whoa. Eh? Oh, three there. <laughs> I thought that was going to be in stacks of three. But it's not. Right, is that... Oh, there we go. There we go. And there we go. They might need more than this. Well, they might not need as much now I've just realized that that is probably going to um, yeah that's probably going to be too oh Random, wasn't it? Um, there we go. <laughs> oh, they've taken that as well. Right, wow. We're going to need some more there, aren't we? Probably another. Oh dear, quite a lot. I will carry on with that. Look at this snow now. And I think we'll leave it there for that episode, guys. So we do have little piggies. That's new additions as well, building-wise. Field's been done over there. I hope it doesn't frost tonight, because that's going to ruin what we've just done. Yeah, pressure washer, fuel tank, buy points, piggies. Look at them. Yeah, you're not going to get snow on you now. You little things right we'll leave it there hope you have enjoyed it guys if you have please hit that like button if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing that would be awesome and don't forget to smash the bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty